So in terms of how this, this soil would, uh, would, what other types of regosols we might see out in the field, uh, if we had more uh, organic matter inputs at the surface, so if we had an AH horizon of greater than 10 centimeters thickness, or, uh, or an AP horizon greater than 10 centimeters thick, over, directly over top of a C horizon, we might call that a humic regosol. So that would be the other great group as an alternative to the, the regosol great group, which is what this is an example of. Uh, it's interesting to note one of the other things that we would commonly see in this particular landscape would be uh, an example of, uh, in this same landscape position, we might see a, a, a nice, thick, well-developed AH horizon that ha meets all the characteristics of the Chernozemic order. So a high degree of base saturation, uh, that meets all the climate characteristics, the right amount of organic matter, and so on. And so if that were, if that were the case, then this could be classified as a rego chernozem, where it's, it belongs to the chernozemic order, but has characteristics of the regosol, uh, the regosol order. Uh, some of the other subgroups that we might see in different landscape positions would be a cumulic. So if we had a, buried, a sequence of buried A horizons underneath, we might see that in a floodplain where we have uh, sub occasional floods depositing new parent material and A horizon followed by periods of stability where an A horizon develops and then more parent material being deposited upon, on top of that or in a colluvial landscape position. And uh, in other landscape positions as well, in lower lying landscape positions or floodplains, we might also see some evidence of glaying, which in that case we would, we would call them, uh, they would be part of the glade subgroup. So those are the dominant characteristics of this. We've talked about the texture, the structure, the change in color and the effervescence, all the things that really make this particular soil an orthic regosol. And so if we were to tell somebody, we wanted to say, well, exactly what type of soil did we see here? We would say we have an orthic regosol on sandy loam glacial till.